So today I went to the Kangjian Park, which is not so far from the downtown Shanghai, and quite small and compact. And it was founded in the 50s and extended in the 80s. So it's a quite nice little park. Within the very limited space, they could develop a quite nice little wetland with aquatic plants, like you see here. The flowers of Talia is absolutely stunning. I will go and find some plants or flowers that I can recognize and share with you guys. Now is the lotus season, of course. As you can see, they are not open because they tend to bloom and open in the morning and in the evening they will close. And now we can't see any open ones. This one is quite interesting because when I checked the leaves, I thought, ah, oh, maybe this is rose. And then I realized, yes, it belongs to the rose family, but this is some kind of apple trees, some species or varieties that I've never heard of. Look at the fruits, are very small. And Nerium oleander, just everywhere in Shanghai. Now it is the peak season. The common name for this is confederate rose, so I think you can see the resemblance of the flowers. It looks kind of like roses with a lot of petals. But uh, here I can see two kind of varieties. The pink one can change colors. That's an interesting thing to say. Uh, they tend to be white in the beginning and then turn into pink. And this is Nandina domestica with bamboo like leaves and berry like fruits. So now I didn't see any flowers because they're already overflowering. And look at these cute little fruits. This is the genus of Liriope. And from the shape and leaves, as you can see, it looks a little bit like Chinese Cymbidium. And that's why in Chinese Cymbidium horticulture, Cymbidium is considered a better kind of grass because they look similar, but uh, they're superior. They have amazing fragrance. This one in Chinese is just called mountain chrysanthemum. As you can see, the flower looks like chrysanthemum, but uh, the leaves are really round shape, really beautiful. Alright, see you next time.